To me, there's nothing prettier than a rainbow trout. It's a romantic fish, I think. Because they're hard to raise, I think it makes them more special. In the 30 or so years that I've been directly involved in sunburst trout, there have been many changes climate-wise which have directly impacted me and my fish. Temperature change, I've seen extreme rains, but more so extreme drought, drought that persists all summer long and temperatures that are 80s and 90s. Um, the first half of my life, I never saw 90 degrees in Western North Carolina. It just didn't happen. And now you see it fairly regularly, I'm sorry to say. And when that happens, the water temperatures rise. Rainbow trout do not do well in warm water. There's less oxygen. When it reaches 73 degrees, it's lethal. But over the recent years, it has happened in at least four summer seasons, and it has caused significant mortality for us, anywhere from 10,000 pounds to losing the whole farm. And there's no protection for that. There's no uh, insurance. So it's a huge loss and continues to affect you for years to come. The weather is iffy and is so different from what it was 20, 30, 50 years ago that makes trout farming very difficult here. Do I think the climate changes are man-made or not? I think for the most part, it's man-made. We're not being good stewards. And I think we have to make some vital changes or it's gonna continue and be worse and worse. The trout are, you know, a barometer of sorts. Trout didn't used to be this difficult to raise. So if it's becoming that difficult to raise trout now, we better wake up. And everybody has to be more accountable for what we're doing to the planet if we want things to change. There are probably a certain group of people who don't want to believe that climate change is human related. People who said, ah, oh, no, that's not true. But I think it is true. People ask me all the time why I keep doing this. First of all, I've done it for a long time. Uh, it feels like what I'm supposed to do. Not only am I raising trout, but I'm raising people. I have some long-term long employees and their family. We've been through lots of disasters together, so that creates a, a very special network. I don't want that to go away.